Hey, what is up, everyone? It's your boy Gamer Ninja here with another Zer update, or actually Zer arrival for week number 66, year two, week 13. So let's see what he has. So, as always, he has your purple quality vehicle upgrades. I'm actually wondering how they would work for Spell Racing League if it's any good. Of course, heavy ammo synthesis, your three of coins, and your glass needles. Make sure you pick up plenty of three of coins just for that Sparrow Racing, so you can activate before the race starts and get your exotic that way. Titans! Helm of Inmost Light. So, it's a Intellect Strength build. Yay. Of course, it grants you your Death from Above and Headstrong. Might want it now because of Headstrong getting that nice little agility buff there. So, it'll make you a little bit faster, and that way you could use these uh, extra perks to activate Shoulder Charge, and you just start running around with my Multi Tool and your Shoulder Charge, and just start wrecking people in the Crucible. Hands on, Super Energy for melee kills. Grand, yeah, that's a bit of a Titan thing because Titans just love to punch everything in sight. Heavy lifting, but super energy from heavy weapon kills. Yeah, I can see that working. Might be a good idea. And invigoration, bonus melee energy on orb pickups. Not really much of a need for that one, so with the glass needles, you can reroll it and hopefully get something better. My thoughts on this, I loved using this in Vault of Glass just to go from the little supplicants area, or not the supplicants, whatever they were called, the maze you had to go through. And at the end, instead of just taking the disappearing platforms down to Atheon's chambers, you just go to the little cave and jump straight down as a titan. Loved using this helmet for it, but other than that, I don't really have much of a need for this helmet anymore, so personal preference. Next, Hunters, you get the Radiant Dance Machines. Personal preference choice on this only because of the main perk of move more quickly while aiming down your weapon. But going back, it's Intellect and Strength build. Yay. <laughs> more Sniper Rifle ammo for you Hunters and more Machine Gun. Now this is different. Arc Double Down. Soar Double Down, and Void Double Down. This is the first time we actually see all three of these on one exotic. So, most definitely, this armor is definitely for your agility builds that you might want. But going back to the dance, I would have to think that this armor compared, or not compared, coupled with the Mida Multi-Tool, there are going to be hunters moving very fast, very quickly, especially in the Trials of Osiris, them using this. They're going to get to the sniping positions real quick. So I will suspect, starting today with Trials of Osiris, there are going to be a lot of hunters using this. Be very wary of sniping positions. I'm not sure what the map is for Trials today. I haven't really looked. But this with my dot, those hunters are going to get there fast. So be wary in Trials this week, and for now on. <laughs> uh, Warlocks! Nothing manacles. Guys, if we don't love Axiom Bolts already. It's a full discipline build, so yeah, the Warlocks are going to be getting their grenades a lot more quickly. But, oh my god, scare grenades. Ugh. Tracking. Supposedly there was a debuff, or I can't really think of the nerf. There we go, a nerf. <laughs> there was a nerf to tracking for these, so I'm not sure exactly how well they are. But going out to the extra perks, more throw distance, and bonus melee energy on grenade hits. I would suspect people will be going for this. That way they could just start Kobeing all of their grenades. And can loader and rocket launcher loader. So I would actually say this would be more of a Trials or Crucible gauntlet because of the tracking and because of Rocket Launcher, Rocket Launcher 
Reloader. Wow, I cannot English at all today. Reload those weapons faster. Get your kills faster. End that round faster. Or end the game faster. Personal preference again. I might have to get it because it's not my collection, along with the and Dance Machines. Weapon of the Week. Tony Carlisle. I don't know what to say about it. I really don't. It was supposed to be a nice buff that was supposed to come in. Apparently someone got their numbers wrong. This has happened before. We all know. Supposedly Bungie's lying to us. I don't care either way. I just love the game for the game as it is. So I don't care about the buffs or anything. I do actually have a video of a match <laughs> for them saying, Yeah, we nerfed shotguns all to hell. I doubt it. I just wrecked a whole bunch of people in Rumble with the shotgun. That was amazing. I'm just utterly shocked. There, was, It seems like there was no nerf. It was me and someone else going back and forth with kills. Him using the invective, me using the conspiracy theory. But that's a whole different story. Monte Carlo, your main bonus. There is none. I don't know why I did that. I'm an idiot. Hip fire. Get that range going because that's the only thing that mostly matters right now. Who cares about field scout? Who cares about high caliber rounds? Range finder, or yeah, send it is going to be the one you're going to want. And then this is technically the main bonus because I'm an idiot. So dealing damage with this weapon reduces your melee countdown and grants a chance to fully charge your me melee ability with each kill. I could see this weapon most likely being useful for this perk. For those of you that are doing the Crucible stuff uh, for your specific characters, like for Wo Void Walker, you have to kill so many people with uh, whatever it is, Disintegration. I think Disintegration is Titan. But this weapon would be very useful for that. Other than that, it's a high rate of fire, a low impact. Personal preference, again, I don't use it. Other than that, Legacy Engram of the Week is primary. So those of you who don't have Hawkmoon, pick it up. Those of you that don't have the Mida, here's your chance. <laughs> don't chance it. Here you go. Other than that, guys and gals, I will see you all in the next one. Have fun. Good racing. And... Good luck in trials. I may be here.